copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for the fair use for the purposes such as criticism, commenting, news reporting, teaching, scholarships, education, and research. Fair use is used permitted by a copyright statute that may otherwise be a fridge. And it makes me think about that video you sent me with Kendra G and a young man on there. He's not young, but he was about 30. <laughs> he's, wanna, a, he's Yeah, yeah, go ahead. We can go into it. Keep talking. He, he You know, he's looking for love per se, and he wants a partner, and he has stipulations, and he doesn't even have his life in order yet. And I think that's a that's a problem with dating. I think people want to date, but they're not ready to date. They're not ready to commit, and they're not ready to sacrifice. Now, we usually do not do a uh, reaction video. A reaction video, but this is going to be a reaction video, Will, called Will, I Let My Daughter Date This Grown Man. That's red flag number one. All right, Brandon, what just happened? What the man asked? <laughs> Can I smoke on here? What you think he's trying to smoke? Marijuana, of course. Like we talked about before, is marijuana legal or illegal? <laughs> federal. <laughs> federal. It is illegal. <laughs> All right, so I would tell my daughter, any man who comes on worldwide recorded video <laughs> snitching on himself right. doing illegal activities is a guy to avoid. Will you agree about that? I agree. I agree. All right, let's continue. What would the guy say? Let's spin a clip. I hate what you say. Let's spin a clip. <laughs> <laughs> who, who says that? I forgot who says that. Some good damn light skinned guy with brown eyes. You got to watch out for that. Let's spin a clip. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. Just watch out for the guys with light skinned eyes now. And I bet I bet their eyelashes long too. <laughs> but I ain't saying that. What are you smoking? All right, here's another sign I seen. If you don't <laughs> sit your ass up in a damn chair, what you laying down in the bed for? You talking to people, right? You try, you putting yourself out there for the world, trying okay. to get people interested in to date you. I was gonna ask you this because this might be a red flag too. If you got a wife beater on, that might be a red flag, depending on what what other stuff you got going on too. <laughs> you what? Not, not not if it was 2004, <laughs> baby. You had a wife beater. You had a GU that wife beater on. You was a bang. <laughs> <laughs> but you're trying to sell yourself to women and that might be something that they like but you know you could come come on here you can get dressed up you can put your dress shirt on you're trying to look your best if you're gonna be on a platform like kendra g but go ahead hey he got his beard trimmed up so we at least give him that yeah we will give him that Surprising. A 30, 30 year old black man with well, no, no kid. kid. Mm -hmm. Now that's not okay. That's not surprising. Do you but do you believe that? <laughs> Brandon, I'm about to these facts I'm about to give you are from the SCD. That's okay. uh, uh the government damn. Don't ask me the abbreviations. Control <laughs> drugs and whatever. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Black man between age 20 and 29. How many are fathers between 20 and 29? How many or what percentage? What's what's percentage have a kid? Mm. 60%. All right. Per the uh C the CDC, uh-huh. 25% of black men age 20 to 29 are dads. Wow. I thought it was that more means than the that. majority <laughs> the majority of black men between 20 and 29 are childless. You know what? <laughs> and I guess Kevin the way said this all the time, but go ahead. I guess the way like the media put it out there, like all black men are deadbeat dads. We got kids we don't take care of, but that's not that's not the case. That is not the case. What what it is is one a few guys are having sex with all the women and making babies <laughs> for a few guys. <laughs> Everybody, so all the women fucking a few guys. Right, and they got a bunch of kids. You know what I'm saying? Like the the man has a bunch of kids, but and sometimes men like I'm not sure. I'm not saying he doesn't have kids because he's going to reveal a little stuff, some other stuff later on, but. You know, some some men are out here. They don't even know they have kids. And that's that's a statistic that's not counted, I guess, in a way, too. But go ahead. Well, oh, now, who fault is that? They don't know they have kids. Right. <laughs> that, that could be the woman's fault. It could be the man's fault. You know, sometimes you you do, you, you know, when you came inside her and you dipped out and you never called her back again. And that, yeah, that does. It, 
<laughs> yeah, but that's that's only what eleven days of the month, ten days of the month that could really happen. <laughs> I'm I'm just saying it's it's a possibility, and it, and it could happen. That's not gonna that's not gonna change the percentage that much or anything like that. But I'm just saying that that's that's a thing that does happen too. All right, Brandon, black males aged between thirty and thirty nine. What that's is where I am. Okay, what is percentage they have a child? I say forty. It is sixty two point five. Oh, okay, so forty percent don't have a kid, and well, that's 60% crazy. Have a kid, <laughs> right? That's crazy. Ain't I would think it'd crazy. be the other way. I, I would think it'd be the other way around because you're young, you you out here in these streets, quote unquote. You know, you having babies in your twenties and thirties, not in your thirties and forties, where you know it would make more sense. Brandon, um, a, a a a male having a baby in a twin, a black male having a baby in a twenties is <laughs> is an accident. He can't afford it, child. <laughs> right, he can't. can't afford it, but he still had one. Let's right. be real with it, because from the age of eighteen to twenty five or eighteen to thirty, you trying to get your stuff together, right? And you like to have a little fun, and you slipped off, and now you got a big responsibility before you have your stuff together, right? So that's why I think not too many black males have a kid between. 20 and 29 mm. and we they put rumors like all black males got everyone got a yeah baby. yeah Every right one. <laughs> and that's and that's what you think too and we're not taking care of them and that's just the message that's being put out there and that's not true all right here's 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 the last uh fact from the government source how many black males aged between 40 and 49 have a child 10 mm, percent no, 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 no. I go you, you I go read it again. Don't how, tell me it's more. It no, it, no, no, no. Listen, listen. How many black males between 40 years old mm -hmm. and 49 years old are fathers? Oh, are fathers? Oh, yeah. okay. Mm, 70%? It's 80.5%. 80. So okay. by the time a black male reach 50, uh, eight, eight out of 10 have a child. But yeah. it's still that 20%. <laughs> that ain't gonna do it. Twenty <laughs> percent don't have a child. So, and I didn't. I found some statistics on women, but I did not like the source because I wanted to use uh, a government source. Right. But uh, women on the other side is like fifteen percent higher. So women have more children than mm. guys have children. Right. But but nobody want to hear that. But women right. have more children than guys have children. And you know what? Like it's okay mm. for men to not have children because a lot goes into having a child. Like. Like I was just saying the other other uh, just earlier, like yesterday, I had to have my child at work sick because we didn't have any other option. You know what I'm saying? And that that's a lot. You know, not everybody is built for that kind of stuff. Like a child is a 24 hour, 24 seven job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know you can take your child somewhere else and have somebody watch him, but that's still your responsibility. Like anything could happen when they're in somebody else's care or your care. So it's not like you get, you know, to celebrate or whatever, but because your child is still out in the world now without you with somebody else. But Brandon, what pleasures will 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 your daughter bring you when she grow up, get married and start becoming a productive uh, member of society? What pleasure would that bring you, Brandon? None. More stress. No, I'm joking. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, and then I'm going to be worrying about the guy she's dating and that kind of thing. But no, it's a lot why of, go, it's why a lot of joy. It's, she goes, she go want it. She go want a guy like you. She's around all the time. Yeah, that's that is true. And, and hopefully, she can say, I want a guy just like my daddy. He's six four. He's dark skin. He got his <laughs> six. <laughs> she'll, be call, she'll be calling Kendra G, talking about what kind of man she want. But and that's another thing. Like women, women want to talk. Why do women want a tall guy? They always want a tall guy. Because protect. Because it's a symbolism. Taller guys can protect you more, and somebody not, not to look up to. It's a lot Maybe. of short, muscular guys that are stronger than me that. You know, they can whoop my ass, but just because I'm taller than him. If they mean, grab I, you, if they grab you, which <laughs> you don't box it, you got to reach. Him. Pow! He, 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 he should like this. Right. <laughs> he should like this. You, pow, pow. Right. 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 <laughs> so let's, let's, let's talk. If you go on professional sports, reach, make a difference in fighting. That, that is true. I was, I was actually thinking about that the other day. I was like, dang, if I get in a fight with somebody, I'm just going to be backing up, punching them with, with my reach. <laughs> Every time they come, I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. They gotta grab your ass. Right, grab you. right, yeah. you I, store. right. Don't let nobody bigger than you grab you, because then it's really over there. <laughs> <laughs> they be slamming your ass all over the place. Yeah. If, uh, and I go teach people. It's hard oh, in a fighting. On the way to beat somebody, you got to hit them in the head. Mm -hmm. So if you if you hit them in the head, that fight go last forever. <laughs> <laughs> 
right. right. A couple, so, a couple, one good punch in the head, you you might you may go to sleep, depending on where you get hit. Like it's an art form in that, but right. hey, just that. be careful. That's why like you may be bagging up. You may... Right. <laughs> Man, what are we talking? Okay, let's stay on this video, bro. Right, let's, let's stay on topic. Let's let's hit the play button. I gotta come up with a slogan. Let's hit the play. <laughs> Now tell me this: You work at a retirement home with old people doing security, security, and they, they killing kill you, <laughs> right? They what what do they think they had them doing, Bernie? Moving boxes from the no, front, from the front to the back? No, they just had working working long nights. That was it. <laughs> that was it. And I don't know how you got that job with your past. But, I, I, but I go ahead. I ain't gonna say that. I, I, I go say that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we ain't watched this clip before. <laughs> you know, I only watched it one time. But okay, so they killing them at the nursing home. You think the pay? You think the people who there be dying? But nah, the staff <laughs> no. be dying. Right. <laughs> now, what 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 would cause a man to quit a job, Brandon? Lazy. So you think he? I mean, that's he, not the only reason, but that's that's the main reason a lot of people quit jobs. Like, if you want a job, people are paying you to do work. They don't want you to be chilling, relaxing on your phone. You know, doing whatever you want to do and do some work here and there. They want you to work the entire time for the most part. Not all jobs require you to work the whole time, but they do want you to work because you are being paid. You're being paid every second. Now, Brandon, I'll go rebuttal because I, I, I know some statistics. OK, go ahead. The number one reason <coughs> people quit is because of management. Mm -hmm. Management was difficult to work with. People don't quit jobs. They quit their bosses. Mm -hmm. So maybe his boss wanted him to do work that he did not want to do maybe that's the reason he quit which turns into laziness or your boss was just a jackass right don't know but he sounded like he got a sweet job but he just didn't want to work man so let's hit the play <laughs> <laughs> Sell clothes. I sell sneakers and stuff. Like I'll be buying sneakers, like reselling them. Okay, you, you you resell sneakers. Okay, so you're a resell sneaker salesman. Ooh, child. Okay, this is a sign of you. Now, Brandon, mm -hmm. you know you know one of my side incomes is selling clothes, selling merchandise. That yes. you, you know, my life, my money is damn near a retail shop now. <laughs> selling, <laughs> selling damn clothes. Mm -hmm. Now, how much money do you think? You think he really selling a lot of clothes? Where do you think he sources clothes from? Mm, well, I'm not gonna judge the brother, but he might have a plug and have somebody in, on the inside sending them stuff or boosting it, you know, because it's, it's you can you can resell shoes and stuff, but it's hard to get these exclusive shoes without having some kind of connection. I've tried as just the backup branding argument. Now you got bots. You got people right. who order the stuff by computer. As soon, as, credit it, card, soon mm -hmm. as it drops, a computer order it and they get a ship. And also last year or two years ago, you had a guy who mom was a executive at Nike. Mm -hmm. So he went straight to the damn manufacturer <laughs> right. <laughs> and buying $25,000 of shoes at a time for the manufacturer, then mm -hmm. sell it back on the market. Right. And now we know somehow Nike shoes are very in high demand and shoes that you could buy for a hundred dollars or $200, you could resell them for even more because the limited supply. Right. right. So he may be making, enough money to support itself but i wonder how this inventory looking if you look yeah. at my next next room right here i got five whole big ass crates of clothes mm -hmm. to sell right and you have to be if you're going to be a shop if you're going to be making some money you have to have a lot of merchandise that you're moving yes so and i ain't really making no i just make enough to pay a damn carpet i ain't really making <laughs> but no that money. matters mm -hmm. yeah that matters. but it's income it's income coming in can right, you quit your job can you quit your job Fuck no, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. So you're gonna need something else to do. And he said he don't have he don't have a, he doesn't have another job, but go ahead. Let's hit the plate. <laughs> Like that. 
what I'm saying? He won an Instagram model. Yep. Now, Brandon. Well, <laughs> okay, I say this. You don't you see a lot of athletes with Instagram models? Yeah, I guess so. And oh, that, that type of woman, like a trophy wife or a trophy girlfriend type of woman, yeah. Oh, you call that a trophy BBF or everything fake? But that's 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 to them it is, yeah. All right, and what those women often get pregnant, ain't it? Yes. And what happened to the athlete after the women get pregnant? What happened to their relationship? They, they usually go down, and then and, you know break and up. The court, and the courts get involved, ain't it? Yep. So one can say mm -hmm. they people may be out here looking for love, but they are practicing love or money chasing in a predatory yeah. way. Yes, so I agree. Some of these guys fall victim mm -hmm. to a big booty, a nice smile. And the face up here looking like a, a damn cat and a plastic uh, toy at the same damn time. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and back to something we said earlier, like when you're trying to date, you need to be trying to look at somebody that's grown with you. Not when you're at your peak. Now they want to talk to you. You know, like I think LeBron, he's been with his wife since high school. You mm -hmm. know, it's, she might have saw where he was going, but she was there from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like the great rapper, the one the the best one, the top 10 rappers in the world, Mike Jones, said, <laughs> <laughs> said back then you didn't want me. Now, now I'm hot. You all on me. Just right. remember that. If you didn't want me back then, damn, right. don't want me now, baby. Let's hit the plate. Shit, like you gotta be working, you gotta be doing your own shit, man. Like I don't mind looking out, but can't be no gold digger. Like you feel me? Are you working? <laughs> nah, but I'm good. I got bread. I got. I'm good. So she has to have a job, but you have to have one. I'm gonna have a job. I'm about to start. I'm about to. I'm about to I don't want to start. I don't want to like. I'm about to be having. I'm about to have my own business. So I ain't gotta worry about working. With me. So she can't be like you. All right, he got a good mindset. I want to own my own business, so I don't have to work with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Now, Brand, you think is that is that something he could live on right now? How strong? How hard is owning your own business? It's very hard, especially the first three years. Some people say, you know, my opinion, being your own business is harder than being an employee. Yeah, for sure. Employee, you just come in and punch the clock, mm -hmm. and you go home at your set time. Being a business person, you work. You could work all the time if you ain't yeah. sm if you don't plan it right. Right. I mean, you can't. You, you basically do anyway, just because all kind of things can happen, and you got to deal with insurance. You know, uh, inventory. It's just, it's just a lot that goes into it. And he already had a track record of quitting. Mm -hmm. So you think once he start his new job, is he gonna quit that? Yeah. Let's hit the play. <laughs> That's right. Nah, not really. Just come as you are. Be real, you know? <laughs> well, you said IG models. Some IG models have big bodies, big hair. That's fine with you? That's how she come. That's how she come. Just be a girl. A real girl. That's that bullshit. And you hear what he's saying, right? <laughs> I, I'm not going to make a comment on there, but I understand no, what he's no, saying. I, but, and but, you got to say it. But I hear what he's saying. Does he sound like he's been burnt before, though? Brandon, I will get deeper into that <laughs> later on. Wait, okay, wait till later on. I'll get deeper into that. Go ahead, hit the play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandon. He said he never had a girlfriend. Is uh -huh. that weird? That's very weird. That's a red flag. I think as a man, you should, at, if you're at least 30, you should have tried a relationship at some point. I never had a girlfriend while I was 21. I, okay, well, but since you've been 30. 
Oh, I had you, you guess. Okay, yeah, that's that's a difference. <laughs> like, I think it's very it's very hard to not be in a relationship at some point when you hit thirty. You just been avoiding everybody, but we're gonna find out. We know why. He's gonna tell us why. All right, I'm about to hit the plate. <laughs> <laughs> all right he's been incarcerated for seven years so for seven right. years that probably means you committed a felony yeah and look like right now i don't know the law he may be committing a felony on his TV <laughs> right now at the same time right brandon if he was in prison for seven years how do you get a job in security that's what I want to know. <laughs> I, mean, I'm, I don't judge nobody. Uh, guys who go to jail, they should be rehabbed and forgiven out a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. But he just got out and he already got a job <laughs> securing property right. for people. You know, when, when we moved to the beach for the first um, the first time, I tried to get a security job. I went in and filled the application out. I couldn't even get the job. Why? Because I'm black. No, I, I don't know why. You put that why. B word just to get sense now, just to get us turned off. But well, you, keep going. Well, you can't talk about colors and, and stuff like that. But no, it's it's just hard to get jobs sometimes. And it, it made me think like, well, he's done time and he got a security job. Something ain't adding up. Yeah, it seemed like somebody didn't do a background check. They must was desperate. And when you get yourself in desperate situations, <laughs> you'll sign on anybody. Right. right. Let's hit the plate. <laughs> All right, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Now, don't judge me, but this is a man for our daughters, correct? Yes. If a man was in prison for seven years, one question, one real question comes <laughs> to my mind. Right. How did he ejaculate? <laughs> How did he bust a nut? And where? Well, if I if I was a woman, I asked him. How? I know a man got need. So what you did? What what did you do to release yourself? Uh. -huh. I'm not saying nothing, but I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> but um, if you, if all guys around you, you got two options. You got your hand or you got another guy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so the choice I, is yours. I will ask about that. And here's another thing. If you look at the numbers in South Carolina, Georgia, I know he's in Houston, but South Carolina and Georgia, black folks got some of the highest HIV rates in the country, yeah. in the country. And when the C CDC looks at the numbers, a certain demographic in the black community have a a higher rate of HIV. And th those demographics are bisexual males. This is not hate speech. And guess who's the second rate oh. Oh. for HIV? Heterosexual females. Oh, yeah. Mm, I figured you were going to say that. So the first one is bisexual males and the second one is heterosexual females what do that tell you brandon it tells me two things well it, it leads me to one one thing that might not be true black men don't get tested and that's a real thing too women go get checkups and get tested more often than men do and that's that's just being real like with healthcare in general like men just need to go to the doctor more and get tested but it, le it leads me to uh another point where it's women they have to start having protected sex more often if you're going to have it in general because you can catch something very easily out here and that's not just you know intercourse you know vaginally you can mm -hmm. give somebody head and still pass certain stds too and people got to remember that too well brandon brett now i use the word hetero and bisexual for a reason i say hetero female that means they Straight. mess with they they mess with uh, man, mm -hmm. if they numbers is high and the numbers before oh, them are trying. bisexual males, mm -hmm. it tells it tells me that a lot of heterosexual females are having sex with bisexual men. Yeah, you know that could be. I don't know. You may like it. That, I don't know. But like like R. Kelly said, that's a real somebody thing too. may be on the download. You just need right. to ask 
acts around. And you may think this is audience. You may think this is health speech. Health hey, speech. Hey. Oh, but well, you, you can't say this health talk. Go ahead. Yeah, but you could go through the CDs. No, you may think it's hate speech. Okay, okay, I'm making sure. But this, we are full of growths. This dope is for adult people. Uh, uh, adult people talk about real topics, and this mm -hmm. data come from the uh, CDC, right. and it's available on the internet. All you have to, you know, niggas don't read a book, so they ain't gonna <laughs> look at the statistics. But all you have to do is look up statistics and make judgments based off those statistics. Right, and. It's a real thing. Like, do you think it's more bisexual people and more gay people nowadays or less? Like, it's just it's just more bisexual people and people are feeling more free. They want to experiment, experiment more and they want to use less protection. So, you know, HIV, STDs aren't going away. So if you're not protecting yourself, if you're not being smart, if you're just having fun and living in a moment, those moments have consequences. Brandon just asked me a question and answer the question. <laughs> <I did. laughs> but yes, Brandon, rest, Brandon, I agree with you. And I like to add to it. We are being more socialized to a uh to experience a to experience those different uh orientations. Mm -hmm. We are being socialized to experience those different orientations. And it started off in grade school when they're saying you need to you know what they're doing in school these days. Right. Have you Let, seen the new Beyonce uh album cover? Her on a horse? Yeah. Was she fully clothed? She was not. And you know what's the sad part, Brandon? What? I was about to load up a video with Minister Ferris Khan talks about Beyonce and Bootylicious. <laughs> <laughs> for, for 15 years ago, I said, no, nah, I can't do it because the, the beehive will be on us and then oh, it yeah, gets blocked off. <laughs> but That's true. Louis Ferris, in a, on my phone, <laughs> I edit a video that says, <laughs> Louis Ferris, I paraphrase this. You, Louis says, when a strong man sees well, he has bootylicious on his mind, <laughs> that's the words he used. He has uh, bootylicious on his minds. He cannot think properly. That's true. And he said, when we go to the TV, you see this beautiful lady. Her name is Beyonce. She's mm -hmm. on TV. At the same time, you got a four and five year old girls watching Beyonce doing a sexual dance on TV. Right. These kids don't know it's about sex yet but they see in this sexual dance and start doing the dance right and want to wear less clothes too and he talks about that he said when they do the dance then the parents say go baby go baby when they're doing the twerking right and then this leads up to watch this this leads up to the girls dancing in a sexual way then you got a grown man the uncle the cousin the fathers see these little girls mm -hmm. and remember when uh, he said, when a man thinks about bootylicious, he can't think properly. <laughs> That's so true. He comes out here doing things to these young little girls. Mm -hmm. And, and we also want to say that's not an excuse just because you you see this and you can't function. That's not that's not an excuse to harm little children or anything like that. But what he's saying is right. Like you see this, you don't you're not thinking properly. You're not making rational decisions. You're acting off of a lust. You you want this. You you you're lusting after it and you want to get it. You know what I'm saying? He's Louis Farrakhan said, you go to the store today. They used to make pants that come up to your waist. Mm -hmm. Now you go to the store today. They make pants that come up to your hip bone. And he said the pants would be so low just above the pubic hairs. Mm -hmm. And he said some of them cut them off now. <laughs> so what, <laughs> so what, why would a business make a, a dress like that to expose yourself? And right. once women expose themselves, man can't think properly. Right. And, and he said there ain't nothing but the devil doing that. Right. And my Muslim brother Lewis is very, very right. He um he gone full. <laughs> Why well, don't have the Quran now? I got, I got it back there somewhere. I pull out like the Quran now. We, 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 we but I, I do look up to Minister Louis Farrakhan as a leader. We're not Muslim, of course. I'm just joking, but that's that's a good point. And like we don't have a lot of leaders like that speaking on things going against certain ideas, and that's why we're lost. And you know, to see, I, I'm not I'm not saying anything about Beyonce. Not not trying to down her at, at any way. I just I just see her. She's a mother. She's something. She's someone millions and millions of people look up to. And we we got her. We have Kim Kardashian. You know, this is who little girls are looking up to. So the anything you do is it's gonna be big news. You know, I'm not I, I don't know for sure, but when I looked at the album cover, it looked like she had some uh, plastic surgery done to her chest area. So 
it's just you know i don't know it's just people putting out certain images of how they want women to look and it's not natural and you know it forces it doesn't force but it puts some seed in women's mind that they have to look like this to be accepted or to be glorified or get likes and it shouldn't be that way it's not it's not that way and us as men we got to stop liking we got to stop looking at this stuff because it's just going to drive them more and more to want to look this way and like this brother said he want an ig model just because all these women are pushing themselves to the to the max uh body wise and filter wise to look a certain way because they know that they think that's what guys want but it's what we want short term not long term the bible says a virtuous woman is better than all the gold and silver in the world mm -hmm. i'm gonna repeat a virtuous woman is better than all the gold and silver in the world and, and why is that why do you think that is because what uh whew, hold on because i'll say it again brad <laughs> so why do you think why do you think a virtuous woman like a woman with standards woman that's loving god you know somebody you can count on why is that worth more than all the gold and silver because i agree with that statement because a virtue a virtual woman she could build the next generations of virtual people, man yeah. and woman. That's she true. has she has the power to groom uh, her children into mm -hmm. the way the culture needs to go. Right. And it's the man job is to provide and protect the woman grooming mm -hmm. the children on a way they need to grow. They give women give life and guys, we give our life to protect those lives with she gives and her life herself. Right. So that's why you need a virtuous woman, because if she virtuous, the next generation will be virtuous, too. That's right. So but if, and if that's she, priceless, like I said, that's priceless. That, 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 that is priceless. All right. Let's hit the play. All right. Now, first, I don't hear this too often. I don't too much hear guys say vibing. <laughs> I, used, I, I used to hear women say that. Would you vibing. agree? Yeah, I, I don't I don't use that. I don't use that term. I don't know what that means. I'm vibing. Yeah, that's you, vibe, you vibing masculine. with a person. Yeah, that's not too masculine. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't I ain't never hear that used a male say that. That's all mm. I got to say. Let's hit the play. I know it's time's getting over, so I got to get this done. Let's hit the play. All right, Brandon, I talk a little jump. All right, go ahead. No, he could get older. Look, look at this. His body is getting older. His hairline, uh -huh. his hairline is doing the Michael <laughs> Jordan fade know, back. I <laughs> I did too. His body is getting older. His uh -huh. hairline. I said, damn, how you got this beard all cheer but up there? Like, I said, oh, that thing, that thing leaning back. Yeah. You know, right. right. But it don't make no difference how your body get old. His mindset is still young. Right. And not only that, he wants an IG model. So his body is aging. His hairline is going back. But he still wants somebody that looks a certain way and, you know, is an IG model for, for his what he say. But it's just this is a dynamic that a lot of people go through. Like they want this, but they have this like, you know, it don't it don't it don't balance. But go ahead. You're right. You can't you can't give you can't. Well, you're right. Hit the plate. <laughs> I ain't gonna pause it, Brandon. But if it was me, if I was Kendra G, 
I won't mm-hmm. allow how people doing illegal activities on my show. <laughs> I don't think she know the law like that. I think a lot of people think it's illegal. All right. Here's another thing. He can't explain why he had an argument with his uh, last relationship mm. or his he, last sexual partner because he said yeah. he never had a relationship. I don't know. He could have said we disagree on A, B, C. That's all. But right, he can't. Right. He can't. Fit, he can't think past that. Right. He don't want to talk about it. He can't even hit the blunt no more. All right, you want to say something, Brandon? Yeah. So he's saying he's mad that she's at the club because he feels like she's looking for attention. But the type of woman he's looking for is an IG model who is looking for attention and is probably at the club trying to get more attention and more likes and stuff like that. So he's looking for love or sex in all the wrong places. Also, if you ain't in a relationship, why are you trying to control the woman where she goes? Because you're crazy. If you if if you ain't married to a woman, how are you going to control the woman where she do? Right. Is she controlling I, you? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's still doing what he want to do. Well, I say what's this. the issue? If a person's not married, they still single. It's when That's you true. get when you get married, then you y'all now you responsible for her. She responsible for you. Right. But that's I guess I'm just old fashioned. No, that's true. Let's hit the play. <laughs> He's looking for a man. That's what he's looking for. Why do you think he said this? Why do you think he said this on his part? Living like he's young and, he, and his hair bag is going back like he's 70. <laughs> um, now, this is very intriguing. He know he he has a mental capacity problem. Something's wrong with him. He He's mm-hmm. smart enough to know that. But he's falling in tension. He said, I don't want to improve myself. I still want to be on this kindergarten level. Even though I look like Shaquille O'Neal, I want to be down <laughs> here with the baby. So. It's, it's intriguing. He knows his problem, but he refused to fix it. I can't tell you why he said that because that if you know a problem and you still do it and you oh this is cute and he's fuck this motherfucker. Right. <laughs> and and you on a dating thing, you're trying to appeal to women. You should be trying to put your best foot forward. It's just weird that he went this route because this don't get him any points. I mean, he's being honest, which is good, but best man. foot forward, smoking weed on here, quitting the job. But I think he, IG I think model. he thinks, I think he thinks this is cool. You know what I'm saying? He's like, nah, I, I just quit my job. I'm selling sneakers. You know. I think in his mind, because he has a juvenile mind, I think he's doing well. He's smoking weed. You know, he's chilling. I think in his mind, he's successful. And women should want him. Or men. 13-year-old kids smoke weed and think it's cool. As an adult, smoking weed ain't cool. That's just something you do. Right. But I think going to jail, it stunts a lot of people's growth. Like, because they're 20. Like he said, he's 21 when he went in. I think he's still 21 now, even though he's older. Oh, okay. That shit. Now, he ain't told him he's 18. (laughs) <laughs> I, I love vulnerability. I love honesty. I love transparency. So, you know, you have been thanked a lot. Thank you for that. That happy. Uh, uh, yeah. But at that moment, I felt that as a real statement. So I, I, I respect you understanding that. So are you in therapy or anything? I think being incarcerated for seven years coming out requires therapy. I don't think I need therapy, but you know what I, I need? Like, I need, like, a 
close relatives and my family and shit like that. Well, why did you say all that? Your close relatives failed you. You was out here saying drugs and robbing people. You don't mm -hmm. need those people because they didn't help you back then. They ain't going to help you now. <laughs> and therapy is helpful. You know, therapists are trained. They've been to school. They've studied a lot of different things as far as uh, psychology is concerned. So they know how to recognize certain things in people and they know how to try to take steps to help you. The and nowadays... Go ahead, go ahead. The first thing I tell this young man, well, he ain't young. I say, get you a damn job and go to the <laughs> damn gym after the job and then work on your therapy. Because mm -hmm. once you have a little structure, I got to be at this job for eight hours. I got to get off. I got to work out for an hour. Now you got nine hours out of the day. You can't fuck up. But Lewis, you see, you he, he has his problem in his hand. His problem is the weed. And I can tell you what Stephen A. say, do. stay off the weed I, I hate i hate how you do that but i'm just saying we is good for some people and it's it's hurtful to others and it look like it's hurting his brother right here and we got a video in our archives audience you can look up uh it's got weed in the title and it explains what we talking about let's hit mm -hmm. the plate <laughs> that sells sneakers. She got it. That sells sneakers. <laughs> she ragging on you. Right. Uh oh. Now, Brandon. Do you see how many pairs of sneakers he had in the closet? Like four, five, maybe. So what? So you telling me the market is flooded with ten thousand shoes? Ten thousand shoes. How will his five shoes get noticed? When I right. sell a clothing, Brandon, mm -hmm. I go against thirty thousand. This the same thing. Thirty thousand right. against me. One. How would he get noticed? And you have to sell a lot and have a great rating to get yourself elevated even higher. So. If you're not selling a lot, you're not gonna be you, you're just gonna be skipped over. Like you can put it out there. What you see in this picture, too? This play it's a PlayStation 5 on the floor. PlayStation you, 5 on the floor. And do you see what the TV is on? The can TV he, is sitting <laughs> on a chill and he got money. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me see I get it. Boom. The TV <laughs> is sitting on a stool. That is it's a stool. Right, it's, and it's a PlayStation 5 box. And then the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I and, I it was just, all right, replace the the flat screen TV is sitting on an empty box. <laughs> on the in the and Lewis, Lewis, how much is the PlayStation Five? It's $500? about right, right. $600? So, so instead of <laughs> instead of getting you an entertainment center or a regular TV stand, which is don't cost that much, you can get twenty dollars. <laughs> you, you, I bought my first one's cost twenty dollars. Right, it don't Walmart. cost that much. It don't cost that much. <laughs> but you took it upon yourself because you've been incarcerated and you you living different. You don't you don't feel the need to have a TV stand. You can just build your own with whatever you got around the house. So he took his stool from the family members in the in the living in the dining room. He brought it in his room, put an Xbox, a uh, PlayStation box, and then threw the TV on top. Brandon, we, <laughs> and we, showed we, us. Brandon, when he got company, they got to put the TV on the floor for somebody sit back. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, I got company. Let me take this TV off right. and put it on the floor. <laughs> right. And some people are okay with having a TV on the floor. They're okay with this. Like, it depends on your standards of living and the women that you talk to. Some women might be okay with this. Some women ain't going to be. As soon as they see this, this setup you got, they out of there. This ain't no turn on. Brandon, or they ain't gonna call you back. Brandon, if somebody turn on that TV by hand too hard, the whole TV will flip over. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody hit the, it they touch, they hit the whole button, boom, the whole TV flip over. <laughs> right, right. And, and for real, for real. I don't know why he showed us this, but he showed us this. And and right. those shoes, those couple of shoes. Hmm? He get money, Brandon. He get money. He get and smoking he, weed, smoking weed too. I, he, that's my TV, that's my speaker. That's guy. He get money, man. He got so much <laughs> money. He shit. He big. He get money. Don't worry about him. He good. Mm. Big daddy long leg good. <laughs> if you know you was going to be trying to get on the live, you should try to straighten your room up. You know, move this. You you gotta put this somewhere else. You ain't even have to put a TV in the room. Just put a TV in the closet. If you're gonna have it like this. The TV see he got fired. Why well, say I didn't see this? You remember beginning this clip? I said he didn't want to move the boxes to the front to the back. Oh, yeah, he yeah, quit. Yeah. He was moving boxes to the front, to the back of his car, to take it to the damn house. <laughs> right, because right, it's furniture. 
<laughs> imagine what the kitchen looked like. Right. Imagine what the I've been broke before. I've been mm-hmm. I've been I had to buy a pot every time I get paid because the pots yeah. got gone. Right. We've but, been there. So, but imagine what his kitchen looked like. This but nigga it, eating Cheerios on the floor. I guarantee you that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit the plate. <laughs> that don't make no sense. <laughs> hold on, hold on. He bragging too. Hold on, bro. I got to rewind this. Hold on, brother. He now he bragging talking him. about he's six six. <laughs> but what's in the background, man? Right. What's in the background? You six six, but you're living like you're five one. Right, and I'm trying to figure out the height because look what the TV is like. I know it's at an angle and it's on the floor, but I don't know if he's six six or not. I we gotta look at the footage a little bit more because that stool ain't that high, <laughs> and that t- that's a thirty two inch TV. He ain't got no doing sixty inch TV. I don't know. He he may be, but I think people like to lean on that because they know women like a tall guy. You know, if he's tall, uh-huh. that's all. That's almost all you need. And he been in jail. I think some women like that too. So he check off a lot of nah, boxes. Nah, nah, he don't check it. Nah, once you got a damn box on the TV, you. <laughs> my daughter, I come in here. My daughter, yeah, oh no, not house. my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got right. a box on the TV. I said, well, damn, he must be saving money by a house. Nah, he ain't saving. <laughs> right. He's, he, he's he's saving money because he could go to fucking uh Applebee's or something. That's why he's saving money. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's hit the play. Six. I'm six six, but you're broke than a motherfucker. But <laughs> let's keep going. I tell you this before I get my fucking haircut, I had a TV off the damn box. I tell right, you that. Right. And now, look how goofy he looking. On, look how goofy he looking, man. Would you do this if, if you was on here with Kendra? She tell you to turn around and and do all this stuff. Would you do that? I mean, I guess you would. Ha- would you have to? But you can't be looking like this on here. Pro, pro, uh, I don't know. Uh, now, you, when I was fit, fit, y'all, like, yeah, check me out. Brandon, you drop. Can you hear me? All right, yeah, I can hear you now. I'm back. Now, now, Brandon, I don't know. It's like, I, t- I tell, I tell. Here's my opinion: Got, women should be attracted to guys because of their character mm-hmm. and what kind of uh, they status, what kind of res- what kind of things they doing to improve themselves. Right. Guys look at women first through are they pleasing to the eyes, then on character. Right. So, but ju- getting a man because he has a uh, I get the, PlayStation you know, Five. He's no, tall. no, no, no. Give it a man because his sexual appearance is on tight, but everything is horrible. That's mm-hmm. the wrong reason to get to get one a man. You need to get a man because his character. He'll treat you well. He has right. ambitions. He he will provide and protect. That's right. then you can look at the other stuff. But they got life. People got life. Well, ladies got life. T- kind of twisted. They focus on looks so much. And they try to. They looking at a man like a man looks at a woman, and you you, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, all right, that's a good point. But ain't nothing wrong having a man that looks good, but that should not be your number one thing. Right. It was a it was a lady on Kids Dre. She said she her baby daddy was perfect. Great relationship, great communication, great provider, uh, great partner, friend, whatever. But he was like one thing, Brandon. What's that? He didn't put it down in the bedroom. <laughs> she got rid of him. Right. So <laughs> he checks off all these other boxes that everybody wants, mm-hmm. but this one box. He didn't do a great job. I think he gained some weight. He didn't do a great job. So you throwing all the other attributes out the window. Yeah, that don't make any sense. And the people in the comments ate her up like she sound crazy. I need a man, but you got the perfect man at the house. He just can't do right. do what you want to. And now you leaving. You already got two kids with him. That don't make any sense at all. But I'm glad people did that in the comments because people really need to see how that's what people are looking for it's a fairy tale like you're not going to get everything you're looking for but if you get the majority of things that you're looking for you need to be okay with that you're right getting rid of that and looking out here for somebody that's going to take care of your kids because now you got two kids and check all these other boxes is it's just rare it's like your the probability of that happening is very low and before we leave today think about the 80 20 rule mm, that's uh, good point. It's, it's, it's actually a theory if a person has 80 percent of what you want that is a perfect person for you mm-hmm. i would say it again if a person got 80 percent of what you want that is a perfect person for you but what people men and women do they hang on this 20 percent, so they break that relationship get into another relationship mm-hmm. find that 20 percent. but guess what happens to the 80 it's gone 
it's horrible. They, they do 80% mm-hmm. of the stuff wrong, but now they got you to 20. Then right. you start looking for a person who can give you back this 80%, and right. by that time, it's too late. I hate too to late. tell you. Uh, Kev, Kevin Samuels already said this. He said, people, I can say people, people think it's a unlimited opportunities out here. But mm-hmm. as you age, your opportunities to find a person that hasn't had life stress on their ass is very <laughs> limited. All right. And that's what people are looking for. They want a person with no life stress. And what's the life stress? Gaining weight could be a life stress because you may don't have time to work out. You may not have time to eat right. Your body may be going through something. You may different things. Uh, right. Another life stress is you being abused. Different ways, verbal, physically, life stress. You may lost your job. Life stress, life stress. And as we get older, we have more of those stresses on life that changes. Mm-hmm. I think people just want to have fun now. They don't want to go through any hard times. They want to go on vacation. They want to keep the facade up that they're doing great. And that's just not realistic. Life has ups and downs. Sometimes you're doing good. Sometimes you're doing bad. But, you know, you got to remember that you are blessed and things going to happen. You're going to go through uh, rough times. You're going to go through storms. But you weather the storms. That's how you that's how you make a relationship work and know yeah. that hard work and putting in building. You're building something. That's what a relationship is. You're becoming one with somebody and ultimately trying to marry them. If that's what if, you know, that's what your, your goal is, your end goal. But go ahead. Thank you for watching. And if you like the content, do not be afraid to hit that like button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to share it out. Man, we got videos dropping every single week and we surely appreciate your time. And we can't wait to hear a fact from you. Leave a comment, leave a like. And guys, make sure you have a good day. God bless you. Take it easy.